Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know Good morning everyone and happy Thursday, I believe, is the day that this is going up. Sometimes I get a bit confused with my upload schedule. But happy Thursday. I hope you're having a lovely week. Almost a Friday now. We're over the hump. We're almost there. It's almost the weekend. I'm in such a good mood this morning because the sun is shining. I've got my morning coffee. And I feel like today's going to be a good day. It's quite warm today as well, which is making me really really happy because it really is starting to feel like spring we had a few miserable days last week and it just I feel like it brought all of our moods down like I really think even people who don't have SAD I feel like this lockdown has heightened how much the weather effect affects our moods and like when the sun is shining so many of us are just like either you know soaking up the sun in our flats or sitting on balconies or sitting in gardens and just being able to kind of like enjoy that nice weather whereas when it's great and miserable it brings all of us crashing down and I just feel like the sun shining changes absolutely everything so I've just made myself my morning coffee and I'm about to get on with today's tasks I've got a few things that I need to do today I feel like my kind of vibe that I'm going for at the moment is preparation. I feel like a lot of us feel like we're kind of living in a bit of a limbo. And obviously looking at the like UK's roadmap and stuff, the first kind of like milestone that we need to hit is April. I can't remember the exact date, but it's in April when we can kind of start to like go out, have, you know, a coffee with a friend outside on a bench and, you know, be able to see another human's face. Um, I can't remember the exact like milestones and like the exact kind of um rules that are going to come with each of them but basically life is going to slowly start returning to normal and i feel like we're all just waiting for that at the moment so i feel like now is the time for preparation preparing our wardrobes preparing our like styling preparing our homes and just kind of like getting ready for that so that's what we're going to be doing today a bit of spring home and fashion styling i have a few new and things that i wanted to show you and go through and yeah, I feel like that's kind of the vibe. I want to like have a few outfits planned as well for when things start to return to normal. And I know kind of like I can just reach for something. I know it's comfortable. I know that it looks nice. I know that I feel confident in it. Um, and I can just like reach for it and, you know, style it up. And I don't have to like think about it too much. So yeah, I'm actually wearing, oh my God, I'm so obsessed with my outfit today. Let me show you. So today I am wearing the jumpsuit that I featured in my latest um spring haul it went live on sunday just gone i will link it here if you missed that but this is from revolve and i'm so so in love with this it just gives me the most stunning figure i absolutely love it it really comes in at your waist it's got pockets so it's really like comfortable quite casual but i think if you were to style like heels and some really gorgeous like accessories with this you could easily style this up for like an evening event i think this is just such a gorgeous and versatile jumpsuit i will link it down in the description box lengthwise as you can see it's a little bit long when i wear shoes it just touches the floor um but i think that's kind of perfect it means that if i did want to wear heels then it wouldn't be too short on me it would still like look nice lengthwise so yeah, I've got a pair of heels from Zara that I've had my eye on that I think would look really nice with this. And I'm really tempted to get them. I'm not really much of a heels kind of a gal. But I've seen these and I just fell in love. I actually saw them on Susie Bernaldi's vlog. So if you watch her videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I just fell in love with them. And I'm tempted to get them to see how they would like style up with this. Because I just think they would look so, so cute. But yeah, obsessed with this jumpsuit. It's really, really comfortable. I might end up having to like chuck on a cardigan with this this afternoon if I get a bit chilly, but for now I'm feeling so spring-like and it makes me really, really happy. So, speaking of new, new and bits for spring, I've got a couple of new beauty launches here that I thought I would just quickly show you because I love spring beauty launches. I feel like that's when spring... I feel like that's when makeup brands get really fun with their lines. Like it's very obviously like glowy. It's very like warming, very 
cute i think that's like the best way to describe it so i've got two things here from nas i thought i would show you so first off is the euphoria palette and i love nas palettes i absolutely love them my favorite one is the nas afterglow palette in the like the like gorgeous bronzy kind of limited edition packaging i'm not entirely sure if this is limited edition let me check the press release in terms of availability it just says available now from self just so i will link to the palette down below um but my goodness there are just so so many gorgeous colors in here let me show you first of all i'm obsessed with the packaging like this is such stunning packaging i love it it's actually coming a lot darker on the viewfinder it's more this color i feel like this even that color's coming up a bit dark it's like a quite a peachy color like it's definitely not this dark but my word i'm so excited look at that are those not just the most stunning shades you have ever ever seen now these are obviously highlights um so like face colors and then these are like eyeshadow colors so i'm so so excited to give those a try i think they just look so so gorgeous i feel like this color here which is eye to eye i think that is going to just be the most stunning like lid color like the perfect not sorry my focus always struggles when i start showing you guys stuff the perfect like not their makeup i think it'll just look so gorgeous and i think this color brown here which is dark sky i think that's going to be the perfect if you guys know with regards to like my flick recently instead of using like an eyeliner pencil or an eyeliner pen i've actually been using a brown eyeshadow because i feel like it's a bit softer and it just looks a little bit less like harsh i don't know if it's my face shape i don't know if it's my skin color i don't know if it's like I don't know what it is but i feel like recently when i've been looking at like photos or videos of me with like a full-on eyeliner flick i just keep looking and going oh that's really harsh so i really like it's just like a little bit smokier a little bit more subtle i think it's really really nice so i cannot wait to give this palette a try i think this is just gonna be so so gorgeous i'm really eyeing up this like pinky one here obviously i think they're highlights but i would use that more as like a kind of blush highlight right at the top of my cheekbone i think that would just look stunning absolutely stunning let me know if you'd like me to do maybe like a little kind of first impressions of this palette we could try it together if you'd like i have to wait till this video goes live before i start using it so that i can find out if you guys want me to do that and then the next thing that nars sent over which i'm really really excited for are new cheek tints which these look so so gorgeous so these are air matte blushes and i love the air matte lipsticks absolutely love them i've been wearing them so so much recently i will say they are a little bit drying so i have noticed i've had to use a bit more lip balm than usual like in the evening with my skincare routine but i think it's worth it for just the fact that you don't have to worry about your lipstick all day like it literally doesn't budge even when you eat i will look at my lips afterwards and be like how are you still pigmented like how are you still there um so i love them so so much so i'm really excited to give these a try they are the most stunning shades so we've got darling is the first one here and this is a really really gorgeous like very pinky shade I feel like that's going to be like a really nice subtle blush. I think that would be really, really cute. And then next up we have Rush, which is much more of like a peachy tone. I feel like it looks best when I like point it towards the um, light. It's like a really nice peachy tone. This one would be really nice if you've got maybe like a darker complexion. I think that would be absolutely gorgeous. And then next we have, oh, this is scandalous. And this is definitely for like a really deep skin tone. This would not suit me at all, but it is stunning. Look at that. It's like a stunning, almost like cherry color. Like it's almost like burgundy. It is gorgeous. I think if you're very dark, I think that would look absolutely stunning on you. 
I might text my friend. I think she would really, really suit that. See if she wants it. And then, of course, we've got Orgasm, which, um, I mean, is, like, the most classic one. This one's actually got a bit of a shimmer in, which is quite nice. Um, but, yeah, I feel like this is going to be very, very me. I love the Orgasm blush. I think it really suits my skin tone. And also, I'm quite excited to try these. I think you can use these as, like, lip pigments as well. So I'm quite excited to give that a try. Um, so, yeah, really, really gorgeous. Stunning packaging. Let me see if there's anything else in the press series that I've missed. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so they look... I'm going to have to, like, actually swatch one. So they look like they are creams, but it says... Comes on soft, goes all the way, wear if you dare. Introducing a perfectly diffuse, soft touch, matte blush with a thrill of colour. Uniquely lightweight, creamy mousse formula turns into a velvety power right on contact. Instantly gliding a rush of blush. That sounds really interesting. I'm going to... It definitely feels like a cream, like when you put your finger on it. But as you rub it in, it kind of does turn almost into more of like a powder. That is so interesting. That is like a really gorgeous... I don't know if you can see that very well. But just like a stunning, really like shimmery pinky tone that one was orgasm which is obviously going to be my most worn um but that is absolutely gorgeous i love that so so much as much as i always love trying new makeup i hate it when my hands are all sticky from the swatches um but very exciting i as i said I love spring launches. I love new and spring beauty i feel like it's my favorite season for beauty because as i said everything's just like so lightweight it's so glowy it's so like peachy and pink and cutesy and it's just very like i think there's a big focus on natural beauty with just kind of like a hint of like glow and like a hint of glimmer and you know like really like dewy lips and dewy eyes oh i just love it so so i'm really really excited to start giving those products a try and let you guys know what i think of them so you may be able to tell from my rail that i have a few new in pieces we've got some very springy colors going on here so i thought i would set you up and i can quickly show you what we have new in so i'm really liking this little like setup in the corner here whenever i just want to kind of like do a bit more of like a casual haul like show you a few new in pieces i feel like this is quite a nice little like we've just got the rail i can just hold things up and show them to you i like this i hope you guys do too because i've been doing it a lot recently so to show you what I have new in, we have some new bits from Monkey, and I would show you like you know how normally I like I'll show you the packaging. I won't lie, it arrived and it was just battered about. I must admit, like big respect to Monkey because all of their packaging was um, recyclable, like it was in brown paper and everything like that, and they weren't in plastic, if I remember correctly, when I unpackaged them. I don't think they were in plastic, which is great, but it does mean when it arrives, it's like. It's a bit crumpled up. I think it would be better to go for like a cardboard box like Zara and H&M rather than a cardboard, rather than like a paper bag because the paper bag just doesn't really, doesn't really transport well. But anyway, a few new pieces from Monkey. I'm doing some spring campaigns with them on Instagram. So this isn't a part of the campaigns or anything, but I thought I would show you what's new in because I know you guys always really, really like to see and I can show you just like styling up the pieces a little bit. So the first thing is this dress. Now I know you're probably thinking, Ellie, a black dress is not very spring appropriate, but if you know me or if you can tell by what I'm wearing, I still wear black in spring. I still wear black in summer. Like I love black. I feel like it's just such a flattering color, really slimming, really elongating, and it makes me feel confident. So I'll still wear black when it's 35 degree heat. I don't want anyone coming for me. So I got this really cute little smock dress, which I think is absolutely adorable. Now, obviously I'm not gonna wear a smock. And I feel like I repeat myself so, so much, but I do forget that like some people haven't followed along, like they haven't watched other vlogs. So I'm sorry if I get repetitive, but if you're wondering why I don't ever wear smock dresses as dresses, it's because I just think I'm too short. And it's one of those things where you guys know me, like, I really champion, you know, you're never too short for things, I like, don't wear things for your figure, or, like, wear things that you want to wear, this is the exception, like, I just think smock dresses just don't work on my petite frame, they make me look like I'm wearing my mum's clothes, and it's just not flattering, however, I love a skater style kind of skirt dress vibe, I love it when it, like, comes in at your waist and comes out of the bottom, so, that's what I'm going to do here. That's what I always do with my smock dresses. And I usually really like it. And also, 
a good thing about doing that is because you can kind of like ruche it up and bunch it up it brings the skirt a little shorter so obviously this isn't a petite dress so it will probably be a bit long on my legs once I belt it and pull it up it should be a really really nice length on me so yeah I'm really excited about this it's like a really lovely just like cozy comfy stretchy really easy to start kind of a vibe I think it's gonna look really really nice on okay okay I'm in love with this dress this is so so cute as I said as a smock big fat no way too long way too boxy it did not fit right at all but as soon as I have just added a little belt it's so so cute lengthwise it's like you know just above the knee so perfect you can always even like pull this out a bit more make it a bit looser on top make it even shorter in the length if you did want to that is always an option um but I just quite like it like this I think this looks really really nice I have actually just belted it with my new H&M belt um if you watched my latest H&M haul you would have seen this if not I will link it on the screen but I really like the fact that the black blends into the dress and all you see this is this like silver double D I think it's really cool it adds such a like feature to this dress it makes it look so much more expensive than it is like very designer-esque which I absolutely love I love the fact that the skirt kind of like flutes out a little bit and frills out I think this is just so gorgeous such a like classic spring item this is the kind of thing I'm going to be wearing non-stop this spring and then next as I said we've got some very spring like colors going on I picked up this gorgeous gorgeous blue at top this is such a like stunning like baby blue like I feel like this is the kind of blue that you put up when someone announces that they're having a boy <laughs> but I love it so much it's just absolutely gorgeous I love it so so much it's this really cute little cropped cardigan and I think with a pair of like high-waisted jeans high-waisted trousers this would look so so cute this is a great transitional piece from spring into summer because you can wear it with long trousers trainers and maybe like a jacket over the top and then when it gets a little bit warmer you can change up the trousers for shorts change up the trainers for sandals and you're good to go for summer I think it's so so cute really stretchy really comfortable pick this up in a medium and I think I definitely went for the right size because it is very cropped but I think on me it should hit just at the right place I'm hoping anyway oh my word this top is just the cutest such a lovely color and I just love like the cut is really nice it sits just above my hip so it works well with like high-waisted trousers or jeans or anything like that these um I'm trying not to show you these jeans too much because these are about to come up in the haul um but yeah I'm just such a big fan of this color I think blue really suits me as a color like you know how there are just some pastels they're like they don't work with you and there are something like that suits me like I feel like I have to be very careful with pinks pinks don't always suit me blue this color blue oh it suits me so so much I love it next to my skin tone so yeah big fan of this I think this is absolutely gorgeous okay next up is a pair of jeans that I'm not gonna lie I'm a bit nervous to try on and I don't really get nervous when trying on clothes very often like it's not a very me thing to say but I have been eyeing up these kinds of jeans for so, so long and I've been wanting to make them work for so, so long and I just haven't been brave enough, mainly because the only girls that I have seen styling up these jeans are really super slim girls, girls that don't have a pod, they don't have a belly, they don't really have any curves and I almost convinced myself that they were the only, ever, only, only girls that could ever wear these kinds of jeans and I had to have a bit of a worm myself and I saw these and fell in love. And then kind of like heard myself saying to myself like no you can't wear them you're like you're not skinny enough and i had to be like all right ellie have a bit of a word with yourself let's try them on let's see what they look like if they don't work they don't work but if they do then at least you know you know like if they do then you're gonna love them so they're the kind of like crossover it's really difficult to see as they are here because obviously like they've just done it on the normal belt loop but like what it happens what it happens what happens is it's supposed to kind of go across very difficult to explain i'm really hoping that they look nice on so that when i can show you them on i can show you what i mean but they're this really stunning like cream color they are wide leg they aren't raw hem but knowing me i'm going to cut them and make them raw hem because they're probably going to be too long on me but i just really really hope that these work i really really hope that i can pull them off okay guys so the jeans they work i am so so happy now obviously lengthwise <laughs> look at that i'm definitely gonna have to cut them um unless i was to wear like massive platform heels but that ain't gonna happen so yeah i'll just cut them no big deal i cut all my jeans all the time so that's fine this was my main concern and oh my word i'm so so happy that it works it works 
it looks good i can wear it guys this is confirmation that you don't have to be stick thin straight up and straight down in order to pull off this trend so this is what i mean when i say kind of like crisscrosses over so it looks like you've almost made a mistake but you haven't like it's supposed to be like that and there's like this little tie here so that you don't um so like this bit doesn't gape which is really really cool i love it so so much i love the waist that it gives you like because it obviously goes down like this and up just on your hips it like not on your hips on your like the smallest part of your waist i think it's so so flattering i feel like i'm talking a million miles an hour about this because i'm just so excited about the fact that it works i honestly was so nervous to put these on but i'm so happy this is confirmation guys that sometimes you just need to go for it even if you look at something you think that's a skinny girl trend sometimes you just gotta go for it try it on see what it looks like and realize that you know what we can pull it off too even if we have curves so yeah i'm so happy about these look at me i'm beaming <laughs> and then the last item to show you i am really really obsessed with it but i'm not gonna lie i'm looking at this thinking wow that is tiny like look at that that is like oh my word but it is very stretchy it's supposed to be that kind of vibe so it's this really really stunning ribbed midi dress now let's be honest it's gonna be a mid axi it always is on us but i like mid axis i actually really like the vibe of them i think they're quite flattering and i do think they kind of suit us so i'm not gonna be mad that this isn't like the length it's supposed to be but it's this really stunning like ox blood color i feel like it's coming up a little bit lighter on camera than it is in real life it's quite a deep ox bloody purpley kind of maroon color and i think it looks so so nice i think this is a really really great spring item it's the kind of thing that i just think i'm going to be wearing so so much it's so comfortable so really easy to wear when you're still in lockdown but then when you want to start kind of like leaving the house a bit more going out you're still going to be comfy but look very very chic i really really like these kinds of dresses so let's try it on show you what it looks like because i am utterly obsessed as i said it looks teeny teeny tiny on the hanger but it stretches look at that it stretches so wide i love it so comfortable a really really gorgeous and flattering piece it just kind of like fits really nicely on my waist i think it could have been a little bit smaller actually on my waist like it's a little bit loose here but then i don't know if that would have like stretched too much over my hips i'm not entirely sure um but as i said lengthwise mid axi but i actually love that i think this is the kind of length that with trainers and like i don't know a really casual jacket you can wear really casually but if you add heels to this and maybe a blazer and a cute like clutch this could be like a going out for drinks and evening out kind of a dress i think it's just so so gorgeous so comfortable so flattering this is a definite win everyone needs to get their hands on this i'm just obsessed i'm thinking of doing a bit more of like a a styling video for when we are out of lockdown let me know if that's the kind of thing that you guys would like to see because as i said i really want to just kind of like get my wardrobe ready for when we do start to kind of return to normal and like getting outfits sorted so that i've got things that like i know i can reach for i'm definitely going to be doing a winter to spring transitional wardrobe switchover very very soon so keep your eyes peeled for that but let me know if you want to see like a full-on lockdown to post lockdown styling video i think that might be quite interesting let me know Ugh. so <laughs> we have some new bits from h&m home i was let loose i had a glass of rose <laughs> and i was on h&m home's website and i did a big old shop Although I'm not going to lie, I don't think it warrants this size of a box. You know when you're like, I did a big shop, but not that big a shop. Like, come on, H&M. You're being a bit dramatic here. But I thought we could go through what I picked up. As I said, I'm doing a bit of home spring styling, adding a few new pieces. So, yeah, I thought I could show you what I've been picking up. Okay, so I have basically been picking up a few, like, little bits just to kind of like update the decor a little bit to make it a bit more spring appropriate very exciting so this first item i think is probably my favorite i'm so so excited about this i saw this on the website i was like i just need to snatch that up because that's gonna sell out so quickly I am so, so in love with this. So this is a stunning 
ceramic shell vase and i'll show you in a little bit where this is going to be going because i had i had a place in mind for this sometimes i buy things with no place in mind and i just like see how it works with the space and then other times i'm like no i know where i want that to go i know where i want it to be so i'm so excited about this they did have a another one is kind of like part of this collection which was like a little trinket dish and i was tempted to get it but i really didn't need it like this one had a place where it was going to go the trinket dish i was like i just keep knocking into that the trinket dish i didn't exactly have like an idea of where i wanted it to be so i decided to go for this one i'll link both down below if you did want to shop them hopefully they're still in stock because i love them so so much it's such a stunning color this is one of my favorite colors like i love it so much it's a stunning like it basically looks like a kind of setting plaster color like a really stunning really pale nude pinky kind of a tone i just think it's so so gorgeous i love it so so much so let me put that over there i'm terrified of breaking this stuff um so next i'm not gonna get them all out but next i picked up a couple of mugs it's a set of four and i really really like these mugs for coffee alex actually uses them every single morning so i really like them for coffee i don't use these alex uses these mugs i usually use them for like props and like for photos and stuff because i really like how they look on <laughs> camera um but yeah he has his morning coffee out of this every single morning he's a double espresso and he really likes them we have these in black which i've had for quite a while now i'll link the black down below if you did want to shop them and i saw that they brought out the white and i we do really like the black but a couple of them have chipped now um and also like we don't put a dishwash on every single day so you know sometimes like once you've had a couple of drinks that day and then when it comes to like the evening and you're getting a cup and you're like oh the cups are dirty um so i thought it would be nice just to have like some more so now he has six of these so he should not run out of them um i will link they also have another color actually which is really similar to the shell color but they were out of stock when i was doing my order so i'll link that color down below as well if you did want to shop them i absolutely love these cups they're like really really like nice nice to hold nice to feel nice guest cups as well you know when you want your guests to have like the nice nicest cups in the house okay now the next item to show you is something i'm really really excited about because h&m have restocked a absolute favorite of mine let me go and get it actually because i love it so they have in fact restocked my favorite vase from h&m now this is the most stunning ceramic like really cool detailed vase i absolutely love this it's so so gorgeous it looks so much more expensive than it actually is this is only i think 25 pounds and it looks it looks so so expensive i love it so so much i've had this on the shelves over there for ages now and it sold out really quickly when they first brought it out they've now restocked it with an item to match so i will link this down below for you guys hopefully it's still in stock and then i can also show you other item that matches it i love it so so much it's absolutely gorgeous this is stunning i think it's called a plant pot but i actually think it looks a bit more like a um like a fruit bowl or something something that's like just really you could put i don't know some foliage in here you could use it as a vase you could use it as a plant pot or you could use it i reckon for fruit or veg or like anything like that i just think it's really cool maybe even potpourri that would be really really cool so yeah little little big and small i love them so so much they're quite heavy as well like they're really heavy duty maybe that's why they had the box so big that was actually everything i picked up as i said it did not need to be in a box that big um but yeah that was everything that i picked up i'm so so obsessed with all of the things really happy about my purchases i'll show you where i'm going to be putting everything as well because i think it's gonna look really really nice styled up in the house okay so first of all i want to ask your guys advice on this setup um so these are the black ones i was talking about that we've had before um exactly the same but just in a different color i've had them styled like this for a little while but i don't know if white will look better let me know your guys thoughts i quite like how the black ties into the black of the um like wall mounts um but i don't know if white will soften it a bit i'm not sure let me know what you guys think would look better i'd love to know your thoughts and as i said i had a vision for this baby and that is on my desk so this kind of corner i've been using it just for like flowers and things any bouquets that i've been getting and i've been putting there and i really liked how it looks but it means whenever i don't have a bouquet it just looks really like sparse and bare and i really didn't like that so when i saw this i was like that is going to be the perfect 
edition. Oh, I love it so much. The color is literally an exact match of my Desenio print here. Like, can you see that? I couldn't have like done that better if I tried. I think it looks really, really good. You can see me in the reflection there. Hello. Um, I think it looks really, really good. The color works so, so well. I think it's big enough that it doesn't even need to be like sat on anything. Like I don't need any books underneath. Whereas this little guy, my little booty vase, he definitely needs some um, books just to kind of like stack him up a little bit, add a little bit of depth and a bit of height. But I'm so happy with how this now looks. I think this is just like a really nice minimalistic vibe. It means that whenever I'm working at the desk, there's enough room for my laptop, my books and everything like that. Like I always have a big diary and a notebook um, and it just works so, so well. And the colours, it's just such a nice colour combo. Like I think it really, really works. I always get questions about where I got this desk from. So for those asking, it's actually from HomeSense. I'm afraid that I can't link the exact one, but I do have some that are fairly like similar that I found on places like Wayfair. So I will link them down below for you guys. I really like it. It's actually supposed to be a console table um, and we had it in our old flat as a console table but I brought it in here to use as a makeup desk in this new flat and I love it so so much. Um, it's like a nice height as well and it's nice for when you're on your laptop doing your worky bits on your um, on the desk. It's like a good height so yeah big fan. I'll link the booty bars as well and like everything <laughs> everything I can from this setup down below but I'm so happy with how the vase looks. I think it just is absolutely gorgeous. So I've got two ideas of where the the ceramic kind of fruit bowl plant pot whatever you want to call it first idea is on the kitchen table but i'm not gonna lie i'm not really gonna be able to show you this because someone's working away <laughs> laptops are out it's the working day so that's what the table always looks like during the day but i'll show you my other idea of where i was thinking of putting it so i was thinking in this room maybe something like this obviously as you guys know we are currently in the process of doing up the bedroom a little bit still waiting on the um new bed frame to arrive that should be arriving by the end of march hopefully um but what do we think of it maybe like in here i've moved in my pandora box we're gonna have lots of like gray tones going on in here lots of whites and grays so maybe sorry please ignore alex's <laughs> So this is why we need a dumping chair. This is what I mean. Look at that. It's horrendous. Don't even look. Um, but yeah, maybe like here I think might look quite cute. But I don't know. It's like mainly going to be display. But I guess it could be used for like practical purposes. If I was to put it in the kitchen, I could use it to put like apples and stuff in. I'm not sure what I would rather. So it's quite a little bit later now. I got my glasses on, contacts are out, and I've put a little cardio on because I was getting a little bit chilly. Um... But I've just come into the room and just look at this happy sight. I love it so much. It looks so just like spring ready. I love the fact that the vase goes so perfectly with the prints. That just makes me so, so happy. And I feel like the flat is just like feeling very styled up for spring now, which I... I just love, I absolutely love that. Um, but I wanted to just quickly come on here to sign off because I know as soon as like the contacts come out and like the glasses go on, I often forget. But I actually really like these glasses. I might vlog in glasses more because I'm looking at myself and I'm like, yes, I'm kind of feeling it. They are from Glasses Shop and they have such an amazing selection. They were really kindly sent to me as part of a Instagram collaboration I'm doing with them. Again, nothing to do with YouTube, just thought I would show you them because I've had them for like three days now and I've already been wearing them non-stop. They are a pair of Gucci frames. You can just about see the little Gucci Gucci logo there, which you guys know I love my Gucci sunglasses. I feel like Gucci frames just seem to suit me quite well um so yeah i really really love them they're like huge big proper 70s style sunglasses sunglasses 70s style glasses i'm pretty sure my granny owned a pair like these and i remember looking at photos when i was younger thinking god those are such dated frames and now look at me <laughs> but what i really like about these is they are actually blue light i don't know if you can see if you look at the reflection yeah, you can kind of see that blue tint over my eyes. Um, and they are supposed to kind of like just help you with regards to when you're on your laptop and you're on your phone. Just like the blue light. I don't know about you, but I often... I don't know about you guys, but I often get like really dry, tired eyes when I've been on my laptop a lot. Especially because what I tend to do is like admin days and then like filming days. Um, so... What is this bit of hair? Um, so... 
on my admin days i will literally be on my laptop like all day for the entirety of the day and i get really really dry sore eyes so i'm really excited about these i've already noticed a bit of a difference actually um like i was on my laptop for a few hours last night and i didn't feel the same dryness that i normally feel so i'm really excited about them i will link them down below in the description box if you did want to shop them i'll link below this particular pair and just to the the glasses shop as well if you wanted to have a look at their other frames because they have a huge huge selection and they've got like really really good prices for their frames i love getting new glasses i feel like if you're a glasses wearer you'll understand it just completely like it's changing up a vibe it's almost like getting a haircut like it just changes your face it changes how you feel i feel like i feel like a new woman whenever i get new glasses and i have like quite a few different pairs now and i like changing them for like different vibes and like different kind of moods and i definitely think that these are an absolute vibe like these are such a statement i love them but as i said i was coming on to sign off not to run for about half an hour about my new glasses um i'm just very excited about them as you can tell but yeah just wanted to sign off this vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it i feel like a lot happened in today's vlog i really hope it isn't too long i feel like i'm gonna come to edit this and there's probably gonna be about two hours worth of footage because that is just the way i roll isn't it there's always a lot of footage to go through but i really hope you enjoy seeing all of the spring styling i feel like we had some fashion styling home styling beauty styling lots lots of spring goodness but do let me know if you did want to see those videos that i mentioned earlier on in the video i'd love to know if there's anything in particular you want to see as well i feel like sometimes i don't ask you guys straight out like what do you want to see and obviously you're the ones that are watching it so do let me know if there's anything in particular you want to see without further ado because knowing me i could talk for another five minutes about what videos you want to see i'm just going to sign off and say goodbye <laughs>